Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this tail start. So let's start a new part for them. The, the unit is a metric, so I'm going to change my unit to metric and click OK. And then net, the first thing we can do is we can tell that this part is symmetric. So this part is equal to that part and I mean, this side is symmetrical to that side, and this side is also symmetrical to that side, just by looking at the dimensions. So what we can do is start a sketch on the front plane, and I am going to draw a center rectangle. The height is 38, so I have my dimension. The height, 38, and the... The bottom dimension is going to be 127. So we have something like this. And come to feature, extrude. We would extrude it by the mid plane. Then the distance is going to be 58. Click OK. Then the next thing we want to do is add the radius. So click your fillet. The size of the radius is 29. So change your dimension to 29 and click this edge and click that edge and click OK. The next thing we want to do is cut this part out. So click this face, sketch, number two. Draw a center rectangle. So I'll draw a center rectangle. And I'll make this line and this edge collinear to each other. Then I can add my dimension, which is 11. From this edge to that line is 11. We have a fully defined sketch because we made it. We uh, add a really make sure this is the center point is on the origin point, which make these two sides symmetric. But when we check the dimension on this side, it should also give you 11. So. Now we can come to feature, extrude cut, and the distance is going to be 11, which is right here, and click OK. The next thing we can do is cut out this box on this edge, so click on this space, sketch, number two, and I will just draw a corner rectangle. So starting from this point, draw something like that. The distance for this bottom line is 11, and the distance from this line to that line is 9. We have a fully defined sketch, feature, extrude cut, and it is going to be up to next, and click OK. Then the next thing we can do is cut out this slot. So select, let's cut it from this bottom because we need that edge to add our dimension. So click on this bottom face, sketch, number two. And the slot is, the center point of that slot is on the same horizontal point as this. So let's just draw a straight slot and draw something like this and click out. So you click your first point, click your second point and drag it out and click. So click this point and your origin point, add the horizontal relation. Then we want to add our dimension from this point to that line, which is right there, is 14. And the dimension for this line is 19. So you can dimension the point to point or the line is 19. And the dimension here from this line to that line, is 13 so which is right here and once our sketch is fully defined I come feature extrude cut select up to next and click OK so now what we want to do is just mirror these two features to this side so we would select our mirror tool and the plane we want to mirror it about. So just click on this drop down over here. The plane we want to mirror it about is our right plane. 
and the features we want to mirror is this extrude cut 2 and extrude cut 3. So those two feature and click OK. And the next thing we can do, and if you just want to verify, so when I come to evaluate, and measure when I measure this line, it should be 105. So you see 105 millimeter and 105 millimeter. So the next thing we want to do is just add our fillet, and our fillet is three. So come to my feature tab, fillet, the size is three, and I'm just going to select this edge and that edge and click OK. And that is how you make this part. Um, thank you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.